Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. For any of you guys who are new here, my name is Allie. I want to apologize in advance because I'm really sick, so I may sound like a dying warrus when I'm speaking. But for this video, what I wanted to do was a makeup tutorial because it is 2018. We are starting new. And with this makeup look, we're going to call it Bright in 2018. I don't know. I'm just winging it at this point. So... Pretty much with this look, you want to shine bright, it's a new year, you're glowing, like your future is bright. So if you want to continue watching, keep watching, and hopefully you get to see, and I will go step by step on how to get this look, and exactly what products I use. Alright, so pretty much for this whole look, you want to slay the makeup. You're basically, like, let's just say this 2018, you're going to glow. Don't let no one take that shine from you. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to make your face, like, beaming, glowing, like, your future's bright and everything, even though, like, you know, that could be kind of hard because, you know, you're in college and, but... Your future bright girl. First of all, we're going to put all my hair up because we don't want to have any hair on your face because that's going to be very annoying. If the first thing you're going to do is if you have primer, you're going to put that on your face. If not, you can put lotion. Either one I feel like works magic. Oh, and by the way, all the makeup I'm using in this video is Tarte Cosmetics because I use very natural makeup. I don't use anything with chemicals. Nothing like that. So everything in this video will be used by Tarte Cosmetics. So Tarte, if you're watching this, a girl would like to be sponsored one day. So you can, you know, help a girl out here. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet my beauty blender. And then from there, I am going to put my BB cream from Tarte in the light shade. Because, you know, a girl's very pale. It's winter time. Especially in New York, there's no, like, no heat coming in here whatsoever. So... I'm going to put this on my face and you know like fix my imperfections obviously I'm breaking out and that's just going to help with matching my skin tone so I just put the BB cream on the beauty blender um, you're gonna put some on here and then if there's not enough on the beauty blender then it's okay you can go back and put some more there's no rule in how much BB cream foundation or concealer you put on your beauty blender it's just get it on there and get it on your face now I'm gonna put the BB cream on my face and fix this beauty up because it ain't it ain't so beautiful right now breaking out and yeah anyways oh and the reason why I wet my beauty blender is because it blends out the BB cream foundation or concealer whatever you're using perfectly and then it matches your skin tone a whole lot better comparing to just putting it on your face and it looking cakey it makes it look more natural I do have to put this little pointer out there I am NOT a professional at doing makeup I am in no way shape or form like an expert I do my makeup depending on how I feel like would look best and not make it look like I'm a total, completely different person because I, I honestly don't like doing that like I still want to look like the same person with the makeup because what honestly matters is what's on the inside and your natural beauty because you are all beautiful but you know we all have our days where we want to like have that extra spunk into us and that's exactly what this makeup tutorial is about so <laughs> in no way shape or form I'm an expert at this I'm just I just do it for fun and because it's something I love to do and it's it's like I said it's fun to do Alexa can you tell me anything about contouring contouring is a 2015 comedy Alexa starting si stop I'm telling you Alexa's smart but she doesn't know a lot of things whoa Sorry, I don't know that one 
The next thing I will actually do to my face is I will contour. And I am using the TARDIS Pro Glow Kit. It is a highlight kit, but it also has stuff so you can contour your face. And I will show you exactly what it looks like. It looks just like this. I honestly wish like you could smell the palette because it smells like chocolate. I love it. Um, if you go into Sephora, go in the Tarte section, and if you see this actual highlighting palette, open it and just smell it. It just smells like pure goodness. Like it, It's good. I am going to contour my face with the Sculpt shade. One out of the six colors on the shade that is for contouring along with this one. The only difference with shade and with Sculpt is that Sculpt is more of a powder and shade is more of a liquid and it's a lot darker comparing to Sculpt. I am going to go in and contour my face. I am going to actually use my Tarte brush from the Holiday Collection. This was all the birthday and Christmas gifts so I'm very grateful as you know makeup is not cheap if you buy name brand makeup you know it is not cheap unless you're buying it from the drugstore and I'm telling you most of the makeup I'm doing right now is all from Tarte so right now I'm going to contour my face and the main reason why sometimes you want to contour your face is because it adds structure to your face I know some people have a natural contour look or a natural glow so their face is naturally highlighted but when you put on foundation, concealer, or BB cream, it basically just blends your whole skin tone and it evens out like any imperfections in your face. So you don't get like that dark shade or that contouring or anything like that. So I don't contour often, but when I do, it's when I like have something big to go to or I just want to have like that extra like, you know, like that niceness to my face. I, I honestly don't know how to explain it, but... Don't even get me started right now. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to highlight my face. And highlighting is probably like my favorite thing to do. And since this video is a glow 2018 look, like you're going to shine and look like you just walked off the red carpet. This was also part of the holiday collection. It came with the powder form and the liquid form of a highlighter and the shade I am using is Exposed Highlight and it looks just like this. It is very pigmented when I tell you I just got this for Christmas and I've been using it a lot every time I go out because it's just it's extremely pigmented and it looks really good like your face is going to look like a glazed donut in the most best way possible like that's the only way I can really explain how this is gonna look it's gonna look good it's not gonna look bad at all with highlighting it's more on the upper part of your cheekbones you're gonna get to see how pigmented it is guys like it's it's crazy but it, it looks good in this video like you can see it like there is no glow here unless you see my natural glow but here it is very pigmented and you get to see like the glow like it looks really good and since this is a Glow 2018 look, we are going to highlight the mess out of your face because it is going to look good. You are going to glow, you're going to shimmer, you're going to look like a shooting star. And when you walk by, people are not going to know what hit them because you're just going to glow, you're going to look good. But it's also a very natural look because, you know, you can wear it every day unless like you're going out, unless you're running errands. I suggest you don't wear makeup, you just go looking like a regular person because you don't need makeup honestly and sometimes what you can do if you want if you're going out on like a big dinner you can sometimes put highlighter at the top here to give it that shine and you can put it at the tip of your nose so what I will do for this video is exactly those things normally I don't put highlighter on my nose or I don't put it on the top of my eyebrow unless like I have a very big event to go to and I have to really dress up but just for this video I will do just that you're not gonna put a lot you're gonna put a little bit and then you're gonna put it like just touch your eyebrow like you can see it glowing and then you're gonna go like this for your nose you're gonna do the same exact thing you're not gonna put a lot because it's gonna look like you have a, a sparkly dot on your nose and it's gonna look really stupid and you don't want to do that 
So now your skin is glowing. I am actually going to move into my eyebrows and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in my eyebrows from here and then work my way down so it looks more natural and my eyebrows don't look pasted on because like I said, I like my makeup to look very natural. I don't want it to look pasty. I don't want it to look caked on. I don't want to look like a different person. So we're going to make this look as natural as possible. So now that my eyebrows are done and we are going to move into the eyes and the lips and everything else, I am actually going to put setting spray on my face because you don't want to mess up the highlighter because that is the main emphasis on this look. You want to glow and you want to look bright. So what I'm going to use is the Tarte Rainforest on C setting spray and what setting spray will do is keep your makeup in place I just got this I'm telling you on Black Friday and I am practically almost done with it because it it just does wonders Setting spray is honestly hairspray for your face and so your makeup doesn't move now that we're done with this We are going to move on to the next part of This look which are the eyes my eyeliner I'm going to use is not black eyeliner, but it is actually going to be gold eyeliner. I'm going to use this as a bottom base and use glitter for the top. And this shade in particular is Tarte and it's called White Gold. I've been using this a lot more than black eyeliner and I can say I'm honestly in love with it. I use it more for a natural look because black eyeliner is very common and this gives you a more like, I don't know, I feel like it gives you a more natural look. The glitter part gives it that extra pop which is what we're going to do for this video but if you're going to wear it just because you want to wear makeup and look like normal I would say go with just the solid and if you want to go all out then you go with the glitter part so this is pretty much how it looks on my eyes it's not too much but it's also very delicate and dainty. Now we're going to add a lot of emphasis in your eyes. We're going to go in with the very glittery part. So this is how it looks now on both eyes. It's very bright and bold and uh, honestly like this is probably my new favorite eyeliner because it's not the simple black or the brown it's it's fun colors like gold silver and rose gold whatever color you decide to go with for this look we decided to go more on the gold side and personally I feel like this can go with a lot of accessories that you have it can go with white it can go with black it can go with a lot of different colors and it's also very fun because this kind of look you can wear it pretty much anywhere graduation prom sweets of steam quinceañeras weddings a day out with friends, a day, um, your birthday, anywhere, like, it's a very simple look, but it also gives you that wow factor that you may want. So now the next thing I'm going to do is mascara. Personally, my preference, I prefer doing mascara because sometimes, like, I don't know, I, I just don't like the idea of false lashes. The mascara I will use is Tarte's Lights Camera Flashes. It puts emphasis, makes your eyelashes look really long. And it makes it look like you have false lashes to it. Like, I don't, okay, I don't get why guys are blessed with eyelashes they don't need and girls don't get these long, full eyelashes that we want because if that was the case, I'd be so content I wouldn't even wear mascara, to be completely honest. But that's not the case, so that's why we use mascara. So my look is not completely done yet because I do want to add a lip color and we are going to go for a very like kind of pinkish but also like kind of dark shade. You know I want you to get an idea with different colors because I know I use a lot of nude and matte colors so what I'm going to use is a darker shade but also a glossy shade for once because it will be something different and I'm excited. I will be using as a glossy lip paint and this is the color I will be using. I will put it on my lips to show you exactly how it looks. And before the look is completely done, you want to spray your face once again with setting spray because you don't want none of this to get moved. You want to make sure your makeup stays that whole night no matter like what you're doing. 
So we're going to spray it one more time and then from there the look is completely done and I'm excited. I hope you guys love it as much as I do because I can't get over it. To be completely honest, I'm fangirling over my own makeup. What is this? So this is a complete look on my makeup. I really hope you guys like it. If you do and you want to see more makeup tutorials like this, you can give it a thumbs up. If you also enjoy different kinds of videos from me, you can subscribe to my channel down below. I will be posting videos and also vlogs on this channel. I honestly hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you have any more makeup tutorial ideas for me, you can leave them in the comments below because that would be awesome that I get to see what kind of videos you guys want. I hope you guys have such a great day and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. So now I finished this video and now I gotta take my makeup off because I'm literally home with my pajamas on and I have nowhere to go. Perks to making YouTube videos guys, it's great but now I wanna go out and I'm sick and I have nowhere to go and I have this makeup on. So. I gotta take this makeup off. So bye everyone.